Hello and welcome to Haywire Gamers, it's Jonathan here again with another Would I Buy It check. Today we are playing Poppy Cart. I saw this pop up in my Steam queue uh, today and immediately got that super happy retro vibe for Super Mario Kart on the Super, on the super Nintendo, which I absolutely love and I still would play today. If I could find where my party for the SNES is gone, but I can't. Anyway, you can buy it on Steam at the moment, it is £4.89p. If it's going to be worth that price or not, we will decide as we go. I should say as well that you can get this as an iOS game or on Android. So it was originally a mobile game. It is it, it is free to play, play on those platforms, but it does come with microtransactions. These range from 84p up to £4.21. I don't know if that's to unlock the whole game at £4.21. I didn't delve into it any more than... Ah, that's an interesting fact to add into this because some people would be interested. Uh, I'm not because I don't play games like that on my phone. I don't play games of any type really on my phone. I like to play on the PC. So, for 481, it's not that much dearer than the 421 price to unlock, which I'm assuming is to unlock everything in the game for the for the uh, Android. So, I'm not too concerned. Let me give you a nosy into the settings here. We'll go back to that one in a second. Languages: English, French, Spanish, Italian, German. I'm assuming Portuguese. There we go. Resetting the game. I don't know, let's say update and rate the app. This is where I first got the idea of, oh, hang on. Update and rate the app. Oh, wait, this is actually, uh, it's basically a port over from a mobile game. Um, saying that, there's some nice changes to it that I don't think would have been in a mobile game, such as keyboard settings on it, for one. So, automatic acceleration can be on or off. I have it off. I don't know why you would want to automatically accelerate. I mean, just no. You can rebind your keys. This is how I originally had it, because, do you know what, I'm just so used to WASD, why wouldn't I? I have tried playing it with the keyboard, um, on the very first mission it was, uh, first mission, Jesus, on the very first track it wasn't too bad, on the second track I sort of failed with it, so I switched over to the Xbox controller, which I must say works brilliantly, it actually is a lot better on it, so it's well set up for that. Uh, gamepad, you can obviously select which button you want on your gamepad to work. Xbox already comes with them on, but you can change them if needs be. We will uh, keep that on A though. As I say, if you, if you did want to change it for some reason, you could be like that and hitting the button. I'm hitting the button and now it's on Y. Sometimes it takes a couple of taps to register it. A! It doesn't want to go back to A. There we go. Yes, changing the buttons. I don't think you'll ever want to do that, but it does get a bit janky sometimes doing it. Audio. This says 20, this says 15. It originally started at 95. So, every time you delete it down one, it, was, it goes down in groups of 10. Like that. Don't know why you can't set it any other thing in that. I'm assuming this is a left or a mobile. Not that it doesn't matter, it matters too much. You can sort of lower it enough anyway. Video. We can't actually play this on 1440p. It can be at 60 hertz. You can display your FPS. I, I don't know why. I say this would run probably on a Commodore 64. If you supercharge your Commodore 64, that is, but it's, it's, I don't see a reason why it would never run on max on a modern system anyway. Hell, a Atari ST can probably run on a maximum. Okay, that is basically that. We're going to get into the game because that's the important part. There actually is a story to this as well. Um, it doesn't matter. It really, really doesn't matter. But. Uh, We'll look at it anyway. I say this is a progressive mode, so I'm assuming you're going from not being the best to being the best first expert. You're just going in and everything's difficult from the start. We have done the progressive because no point jumping in and sucking at the start of a video. She is an important character. She is missing. We are trying to find her. You can't unlock new characters. I'm guessing this is what microtransactions would have bought if you were actually playing it. So you could like Norton the Elephant. Crapo the Toad, Tootsie the Little Girl, Rukai, Bigudi, Poputo, and Grandpa. We are Poppy. Let's go! Let's go. Intro time. Somewhere in Poppy Land. Hi kids. The Daddy Crapo's daughter, her Crapo, ran away last night. There's her Daddy Crapo. My little froggy has left me a note. Daddy Crapo. I'm sick of you. You never let me going out. I leave the house. I'm going to the water lily party on the other side of Poppyland. I will never come back. Froggy. 
you never let me going out not go out I'm assuming this is because uh, I'm assuming it's because as a little girl writing it will not be nasty and say wow it's just written badly I'm guessing that there is the reason I beg you help me the first one who find her can enjoy my heavenly house all the summer at Crapopo Island Mr. Popo Island he doesn't need an island Mr. Popo usually lives in a lookout the first one who find her well that tells me that they probably haven't got the dialogue right and it's just typos and possibly English is not the first language so it's the developers I'm not 100% at any rate the story doesn't matter too much uh, it might be interesting for funny sake though here we come so everyone's going out looking for her. Poppy collect 180 totems to find Froggy so we need to get 180 totems to find her Collect voodoo totems to swap characters. Okay, so you can get a voodoo totem and you can get other characters, so that must be how you unlock them in the PC version at least. I say we'll play these two races. I've not got this far yet. We will run through a couple of races. I don't think we will get as far as this. I don't see a reason to play through through so many races just for one video. I think playing a couple of them will give you an idea of what it's like. We'll start at the start though. This is the easy one. We'll see if we can get our lap times up. I haven't played this using the controller yet, so hopefully we'll do a bit better on our lap. What was it? A, X, and right trigger two. The only buttons you will ever need. We're not even going to do it. Last couple of times I've held the... Uh... Oh, here we go. Right, so if you don't... Uh... The last couple of times there... Oh, come on. The last few times I started this mission, I was you know revving the engine, trying to get a boost start. That time there, I didn't start moving the engine at all, and I got a boost. So that was kind of handy. Uh, you'll notice here, obviously, we're going over what looks like little heads on the ground like mouse heads or something they're literally your question marks that's how you're getting your power-ups those are coins those little red ones on the ground here with again mouse heads on it there's our wee totems that we have to collect and I'd like to think that right at this minute you are getting the same Mario vibe that I am from this because I don't know why I'm dropping them there because they're going to affect me more than they're going to affect the guys I'm racing you see I'm trying to look around the screen as well whilst I'm doing this just so that I can talk you through things but this is so reminiscent of Mario, which is a nice thing. I mean, just for nostalgia's sake. Whether nostalgia is enough to keep you playing the game any length of time, I don't know. It would have been really nice if it had multiplayer in it, because I could see this actually being really, really good fun with something like that. You know, just everybody grabbing in a wee cart and playing it. But it doesn't. It's a single player game. So all you'll ever do is play against those shit. Uh, you will notice as well that that were, was our version of a turtle shell, a green shell. Instead of the red shells being homing shells though, these are blue. That's your, uh, what looks like a pile of dung is actually your banana skin. It could be a pile of dung. That's just random coins that you collect, because probably microtransaction related I would say, and it's a leftover from that. But we're not too worried about that. Oh look at us, we're lapping people. I did not lap people when I used the keyboard and mouse last time, so we're uh, definitely doing better here with the controller. What am I selecting player for? Let's go! Yes, we'll do that. Oh, here we go, so that's where you change cards. I didn't even realize it was on that because I'm so used to using the mouse about. Right, we'll not use that. We're going to use the controller. Again, using the D-pad, you can just switch between what you want to hit. We're going to go to next. Yes, we shall play this one again. The lovely R-glass map, because it is shaped like an R-glass. Again, we're not going to press anything until this goes and sees if this gives us a boost. Could the, the secret to the boost be that we just do not touch the accelerator at all? No, it isn't. We must just have to hit it right at the end then. I just must have timed it well. Uh, 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 boosty boost. Oh, well, we're not doing too well this time. Oh, look at that. We've got a shell to go. Uh, 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 Jesus Christ. Somebody, get someone. Don't hit myself. Ah, they're all ahead of me. We sucked badly there. So, with the music change and all on that one, that one there I would assume is Ghost. Because you can now just knock into everyone and knock them out of the way. So I'm guessing that's your Mario Kart style Ghost one. Y you will see that uh, they have very strongly copied the whole idea of Mario Kart. Which, I mean, if you are going to copy a game like that, a kart racing game, do copy from the best. So. Yeah, I don't blame them for taking the Mario Kart as their inspiration. Oh, let's go Goosty again. Let's zoom past it. Ah, no, don't hit the dung! God damn it. We're not doing well at uh, hitting those little guys. Come on. 
win or lose this, we've already won this one in the past, so we are just going to go straight to the the next one. I apologise if I'm sucking at this as well. So I'm just trying to commentate it whilst uh, playing is actually rather tricky. Oh well, here we go. We're on the. We're not exactly losing anyway. I just need to be a bit more careful on the brakes, though. Come on, speed. Well, that was a bit of dialogue that I hadn't heard in the game before. There we go, seconds, not too bad. Not perfect, but not too bad. Right, I should go to the next one. Uh, ooh, Molten Lava, it's the Bowser level here we're going into. You can see a very, very scary volcano up there. You can tell by the style of it and how it's drawn. That is rather terrifying. There we go, zoom off. See who we can get past. So, oh, that's handy enough, so you can actually drive over the volcano, which to me seems very bizarre. I didn't think driving on lava would have been a good idea, I thought that was going to be a maximum feel, but obviously not. Let's see how we do. Uh, well, this one is proving to be... Oh, God damn it! we got hit by our shell. I think it might have been... No, it could have been our own shell, because we hit that guy with it. Somebody else was hit with the shell. Fair show. We were winning, and now we are not. God damn it. Alright, let's go. Dude. Out of my road. Come on. Ah! Well, we're not on the losing streak yet. On the last four. Can we get this guy for speed boost? Probably not the best place to use it. Oh, he could catch us here. Go, Grandpa. No, you will not. We will win this race. Oh, God damn it. Why did we slop there? All right, last lap. All right, we need to keep going here. that farm back behind us. Oh, we missed that as well. Not a good idea. Whoa. Yes. I think we got the grandpa. It looks like so far that the grandpa is the only one who has a voice. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. We will do one more race, I think. Because we're getting going quite fast. At, uh, I mean, there's not, there's not that much to say. Oh, look. So here we go. Excellent. We can unlock uh, the Guji. So this is where you do unlock people then as we get through. So bonus is to collect the coins. Is this a special race? I think this might be a special race if there's a bonus collect coins. No? Ah! So this is actually a bonus race then. Oh no, we have to do is collect coins. And I'm assuming get his head so that we can like, unlock him. So let's do that. I don't know exactly what use collecting the coins are as far as this goes, but we will try it. Uh, we've got apparently one minute to do it. Why did we spin? We weren't even holding the button down. Go on, pick it up. Yo, we need to get all the coins. I wonder if we need to get all the coins or not. I don't even know. We'll get as many as we can. Come on. More coins. More coins. I'm getting such a vibration feeling through my controller. It's insane. It is insanity, this. The speed. The G forces are at work. At least we know it's going to be over quickly. Row after row. I'm sure there's a more optimal way to do this and get more coins. But we are just going to run in rows. Pick up as many as we can. I can't say 172 is back. Oh, we need to unlock 150. So, excellent. We have unlocked a new playable character. Next. So, we shall try. Try the little... The little rabbit since we have unlocked it into this one. Duck in space. Oh Jesus, it's Rainbow Road. Literally could be Rainbow Road, except not as colourful. Will it have a similar music to Rainbow Road? Apparently not. It has music exceedingly similar to the ghost level. It literally has the ghost level music. Yes, because look. There's a freaking path you can go across there as if it's the ghost level as well.
We'll try that path. We're going to see if we can get that path here. Let's do it. There we go. We're going to take the shortcut. So you have shortcuts in the game as well. Another Mario classic here. I'm kind of digging this game though. Let's get rid of that. We don't really want that part. I'm digging this game. I am digging this. It does sound exactly like the ghost level. I thought this was going to be Rainbow Road because you're sort of out in the middle of space and there's nothing about you and you can just fall off the edges. As it turns out, you're not. Oh, look how much we're catching absolutely everyone here. Hey. You to fall over. I'll just fire that. Might as well. Oh, see that? We could have taken them. Yeah, this one's proving exceedingly easy for us. I don't know what the AI is doing on it that's making it so easy for us, but it is. Oh, look at that. We won. What a fantastic quick race. It could just be that this is the version of Toad and it's a really easy card. Dog Island. Shall we give the dog a bone? Dog Island. Oh, it's the water world. Right. We're not going to push any buttons. We're going to start when we start. We're going to catch everyone. We're going to pass them. And we're going to beat them. Because we can. We're going to keep an eye out for shortcuts. And we're going to take those shortcuts. And we're going to use those shortcuts. Oh, star par! There you go. Instead of using a uh, actual star, you use a little head, and it gives you the exact same power. I mean, all the power-ups are the same as in Mario. The only thing that's missing is that there's no battle mode, which was always good fun when you got on with a friend. You can play that. I did like battle mode. Just sitting playing. That would have been a really nice place to drop that there. Actually, everyone would have been hit. Where are you meant to go? Ah, uh, wrong turn. There we go. It would help if I knew what way I was going. Why did he do that to me? You guys, you guys, kidding around. This cart is not hard at all to control. It's got really nice handling on it. I'm, it feels like the handling on this does, I think, feel different than the, for, who was it? Poppy's one, Poppy. This one seems to have a lot sharper handling, which is nice that there is actually difference in the carts. I'm assuming that the elephant is gonna be your like of a Mario or Bowser where it's probably going to be faster straight line speed but the handle is not as not as sharp but again it does give you a little bit of variety for learning carts and things at least which is nice come on what are we going to get more dung we should drop the dung at that terrible 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 place that we find around here where the wee narrow it is in fact we're going to drop it right there and then whoever comes around can just have the uh, the joyous occasion of running right into it mm -mm -mm. There's more dung there. We're going to avoid that. Next time, if there's a while we get one, we will drop it there. Ah, I'm nearly missing that turn again. Not that it matters, but it looks like I'm so far ahead. It's like 100cc all over again. Uh, as far as I can tell, there isn't any CCs or anything in this game. At least, not now. Maybe if you complete it, it'll unlock others. I don't think it will, though. I think it's just the two modes. It would be nice, though, if you did have different CC to go on. You never know, maybe they'll add something like that, but I can't see it in the future. Oh, for God's sake, we just drove straight into that. And our dung's still there. Nobody ran into it. Oh, and somebody's put tongue as well there. Goodness me, everyone's missing the dung. And now we're going very slow because we're trying to miss it as well. Come on, turn faster. We're going to try to get to the last uh, Vidya bit and see how the story progresses. It's a must, we need to know. Come on. We should have jumped between the islands there, that slowed us down. Since we just stayed in the water the whole way. Oh look, we're going to lap people again. Yeah, it becomes a lot easier with controller. We might switch it up and go to the uh, professional mode at some point. Just because this is not challenging. Although, some races are harder than others, I must say. Just depends who you're racing against, I suppose. There we go. We have won again. Why is it giving me the option to change when I did not hit anything? All I did was hit down on the D-pad and it automatically gave me an option to change. Uh, finish in 60 seconds, unlock Rookie. Right, so we have to run through a labyrinth and get to the end. <laughs> okay, well this is new. Um, we'll give this a try. So yeah, you've got a couple of different modes in it then besides the races. You've got a labyrinth race. 
wrist to the center of the me is. I don't know what way we should even go. I'll just go this way. Yeah, it's, it's like race to the center of the me is to see if you can unlock somebody or the other one is the uh, collect coins one. Oh, that's not going anywhere. Is that a way through? No, it doesn't look like it does. Uh, we'll keep trying on down this way. I wonder if the rule of uh, mazes applies where you always turn right. Does that look like a dead end? No, it's not. It's underwater. Uh, uh, uh. Can we unlock another character? I don't think we can. I think we should have followed the rule of all mazes where you always stay to the right hand wall and just keep following the right hand wall. Come on. 16 seconds. Nah, I don't think we're going to get there in 16 seconds. Let's go down this way. We'll attempt this and see where it goes. All routes sort of lead the right direction, like, well, the problem is where they cut off. Oh, are we that close? Are we actually that close? I think we might have been on the right way to that. So try it again? Well, I suppose you got the map up there, so I mean, you can see where you start as opposed to where you need to finish. Sort of like work your way through from there. Uh, we're not going to bother. We'll not bother unlocking him at any rate. We know that there's labyrinths to run through, which I suppose is going to be fun until you learn how to get through them. Congratulations, you've accessed level 2. Here we go, the story has progressed. Damn, they are after me, quick, I must drive faster. Is that it? So, was that it? Was that actually it? That was it. So I'm assuming we're just going to keep chasing her until we get to the end. Uh, I'll, I'll throw, go through you here and show you some of the other maps. Just You need to unlock them obviously here before you can actually get them, but uh, it'll give you an idea of what they look like. So you've got five different levels, which is gives you a variety of different maps to race on, as I say. Random weird progression, but it looks like every single one of these is going to have a, a bonus labyrinth in it to unlock somebody to the previous one. Well, it was mission level 4 and level 7, level 4, yeah, so level 4 you have to unlock somebody and level 7 you get to unlock somebody on that one. And there you go again, level 4, level 7, so they all follow the same basic design. There's five proper races, there's a little rabbit one, it says number 95 on it there. Uh, I'm assuming you can just watch the videos at any point, so should we end with a spoiler of the amazing story where you uh, complete it? Shall we Shall we end the, fi end the video with a spoiler? I think we should end the video with a spoiler. I'm sorry if this ruins the game for anyone. <gasps> it won't let you. It, like, it sits there as if it can, but it won't It won't let you. You actually do have to unlock it. And look, we found... Uh, I don't think it's the Rainbow Road, but it's their version. It's the Neon Road as the last race. So yeah, that'll be a fun one to finish off on. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Again, you can get this on Steam for... 489. Uh, to answer the question of the Wibbit check, would I buy it? Probably not. If I hadn't already bought it for the purposes of this video, I probably wouldn't buy it because I don't know if it's worth 49. I mean, it's an app, and yeah, fair enough, 421. As I say, I think it was the expected price to unlock everything on Android. I didn't look at the iOS price. Uh, it could vary depending on region you're in. In fact, I don't even know what this is in dollars. It's probably about $10, I suppose, if it's 489 in the UK. Would I buy it? No. It's nice nostalgia. It's nice to play it because it's nostalgia. But at 489, I don't think so. If it was 50% off, I would recommend it. You know, if you can get it for about 250, about five five dollars or so, then I'd be like, oh yeah, get it. It's great. You know, for that price, I think it would be worth it. Um, it does seem good fun though. I will play a wee bit more of it and things. It's the sort of thing you can sit down and think and unwind with. Uh, if it did have add some, if they added something to it like multiplayer, then I'd be really, really keen to actually play it online with people because you know it's like Mario Kart. Uh, I do like karting games. I don't have most racing games. I'm not a big fan of karting games. I am. I like karting games. And Blur. Can't forget Blur. Anyway, guys, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. So would I buy it at this price? No. Half price? Yes. Maybe even 30, 33 percent off or something. Like three pounds, three fifty. Yeah, we worth it for that. But unless you're a really big fan of Mario Kart and you've missed it so much, I would probably give it a miss for an eye until you do see it in the sale. But when it's on sale, go for it. Everybody, thank you very much for watching. Please do leave a comment. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot as me and Phil are enjoying making these videos and we hope you're enjoying watching them. Everybody, 